Do you, fair viewer, like bug girls? Do you also enjoy injecting people with a copy of your genetics, adding them to the hive mind, and making them insectoids in your form? Well, that's terribly convenient. I think I might have just the reward series for you. Welcome, mindless drones, suspicious insect people, and apparently a pair of very inquisitive turkeys to the hive. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bugsy, and Bugsy, like many of the horrifying characters I designed for these series, is an escaped Imperial test subject. And Bugsy, Bugsy is very vengeful, as you will probably be if you were captured by the Empire and mutated into a b bug lady. Then again, knowing the people who comment on these videos, actually, you'd probably be quite pleased with that. But this is, this is not, this is not that situation. She's angry. Look at how angry she is. Wish that turkey would piss off. Bugsy is going to get revenge in the way any of us would against the Empire. She's going to kidnap people, inject them with her genes, transforming them into other horrifying bug creatures, and adding them into the hive mind. That's right, we're insectoid people with an insectoid way of going about things. We believe in insectoid supremacy, and we have a hive mind. Now, this works both ways, of course. When our people are happy, everybody is going to be happy. But if someone is unhappy, pretty upset about the situation, maybe they're not so pleased to be turned into a giant bug person, that's going to impact the whole colony. Now, Bugsy's probably going to have quite a difficult time with things out here. You can't just inject people with genes and add them to the colony. We have to capture them and convert them so that they're willing to be turned into bug people and then we have to turn them into bug people otherwise they're gonna hate every single other person in the colony because rather sadly for everybody besides bugsy people don't generally like giant hideous insectoid people but bugsy amongst her people is very unique she has an angelic beauty something that will allow her to attract new people into this colony she'll be the queen of a whole new hive. The downside is being a hideous bug person doesn't exactly win you over too many friends. Every single faction, every single colony out there is neutral at best with her existence, and at worst, they absolutely hate when one who annihilates her off the face of the planet. But we're gonna need to rustle up one or two insectoid allies, insectoid friends, and maybe start some little insect farms, tame a few mega scarabs to help defend this soon to be insectoid colony. And though right now we have absolutely nothing, no research whatsoever, no skills to speak of, Bugsy has your generic insect stuff she's good with plants she's good with animals when we start adding new people into the hive mind our research speed is going to increase faster and faster and faster but it is of course entirely random we've got to get that knowledge deep from our new colonist brains and plug it into the hive mind so that we can get access to that and then eventually one day maybe bugsy can become a genetic engineer of her own and design the perfect little insectoid brood to spread through to other willing colonists. And we are going to follow the rules that Base Game Rimworld has already established for insects. We're going to focus on getting pollution, which insects in the base game are attracted to. And we're going to try and use a lot of toxic weaponry. Because insects in the base game are immune to toxins. The only problem is, right now, Bugsy doesn't have any of those things. So that's going to be a very long-term play to try and make the perfect insectoid humanoid. We're going to have to go out there and capture a few people to add their genes into the hive mind. And I should point out... <laughs> I should point out that the name Creambug was was purely random. I, I made a xenotype. I wanted to change a couple of things about it. When I resaved it, it gave me the name Creambug. And for fairly obvious reasons, I decided to keep that. And if you, of course, would like to play along and inject people with your insect injector, then you two, of course, can down in the description below get access to the workshop collection with the load order, the save game, and everything else you'll need to get started on your own little hive. Now let's get started and I'll just pretend I haven't recorded this entire episode before and lost it all due to a <laughs> hilarious sound bug. <sighs> oh, and I did forget to mention it, but of course we have a very lovely starting base here. Of course, being insects, we need to make underground bases, right? That's how insects work in base game room, what they tunnel up from the underground. So we're gonna do something with that, but I didn't just want it to be a giant mountain base. We've done that too many times, so we have this very lovely insectoid donut. Sweet precious bugs, he deserves only the best. So why don't we, why don't we put down here, well, I need some wood. We are also going to need to scrounge up some food here, given that we are effectively playing on naked brutality, but the only difference is Bugsy has clothes. Because the Discord would probably implode if she didn't. Ooh, the mahogany walls look really nice. Big Terraria moment. Mahogany fine walls. Hear me out here. And let's throw that down as a, as a hexagon shape. But I want like a decent size hexagon. I think that works pretty well. 16 by 15. 16 by 16 makes it look slightly less hexagonal. Let's do it like that. Oh, that doesn't really look like a hexagon either. Fine, I'll make my own damn hexagon. What do hexagons look like again? Uh, I would I would do a hexagon like 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 that. Am I am I going mad? That looks a bit more hexagonal. I, I mean I need to tidy it up, but I, I think that works better. <laughs> YouTuber tries to understand basic geometry. There you go, Bugsy. A perfect little hexagon. 
<laughs> Before I get too carried away with an insane amount of building, let's also throw down a little perimeter wall here. Just in case we get visitors who maybe, uh, say, want to smash the bug. I, um... What? <laughs> now, because we have tunnel and we're probably going to be living underground for the most part, we do need to try and grow some mushrooms because we can just grow the mushrooms out and field outdoors. I think for the time being, let's not worry about it. Okay, we've got lots to do and there's a single bug to do all of it right now. Visitors, like plural or is there one? A group? Oh, no. I don't think, bear in mind Bugsy doesn't have a weapon right now, I don't think that she could take on both of them. As much as I would love to give them a little bit of a, a little bit of a sting, I don't think it's a good idea right now. Let's make a club. <laughs> oh, we can make a short bow. You are better at melee. Oh, we'll make a club, that's fine. Maybe one day we could add into the genetic code a little stinger. She can spin webs. It doesn't really help out that much though, unfortunately. A gift. Oh, and to think I was going to turn you into insect people. Ooh, 63 silver. Thank you. I'll be sure to put that to good use when absolutely no trade caravans turn up. They're very kind. <laughs> now, Bugsy having escaped from the lab has no tech whatsoever. We've got basic furniture, and I think that's pretty much all we've got. Mushroom cultivation, berry cultivation, some low-level Neolithic stuff, and then that's genuinely it. Okay. Um, how brave you're feeling. We could club that turkey and make a bed out of its remains. Oh, this could be the end. This could be the end of poor sweet Bugsy. Nice. Finish off hair. There you go. We'll have a bed in no time. Ooh. And one went mad. It heard the rumors of the hair clubber. <laughs> oh, this is such a difficult start. Why do I do this to myself? No. Don't do that. Oh, God. Let's hope we don't get raiders turning up. Create with a muffalo named Ludwig. Oh, Ludwig. I'm sorry. This is a very necessary sacrifice. 39 heavy fur. You're telling me there's a chance. Inspired taming. We could get a battle animal or we could get an animal to turn into a bedroll. What have we got out here? Let's take a quick peek. Boomalopes. Oh, wag would be quite good, wouldn't it? It's not really an insect. Okay, you know what? Come here. Let's get you tamed. 40% chance. We'll, we'll be all right. Oh, yeah. This is big brain time. Yes. There you go. And then we're going to train you to attack and hopefully not rip apart new people to bring into the colony. Ooh, level 14 animals. Oh God, that was too early. <laughs> oh no, uh, the Axe Company, hello, Luxembourg. You any good? Whoa, 16 intellectual. If you die, I might cry. Holy crap, 13 social, 10 artistic. And you've got the medical skill that Bugsy just simply doesn't have. Bugsy doesn't have any intellectual, completely incapable of it. So we need a researcher to actually kickstart things here. Um, we can't make the wog follow, can we? That's unfortunate. Easy fight, Bugsy. Smash and grab. Okay, here we are. Web. Get webbed. How dare you. Get webbed. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. Nice. There you go. Bring it down. Bugsy, come on. That was a free hit. Nice. Please. Oh. Look at her go. She can't be contained. Nice. One more. Shit. No, 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 no. Dodge. Great dodge. Great. Oh, come on. Nice. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> One bruise. And you're actually fine. Oh, I mean, it wasn't exactly a fair fight, was it? Congratulations. You defeated a dying old woman. Real, real round of applause on that one. My God, it's like playing with combat extended. There you are. Uh, you know what? Let's turn that into a prison. Steel Mega Scrambit. Oh, very good. Is that an insectoid? A karambit made from a mega scarab. Does a fishing cuts with its deadly jaw. The perfect weapon for an insect queen. Bug, you're in control now. I'm going to rename you to the warden. Is there a pun? What? Warden? Wag? Wag? Wagden? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think I'll just stick with warden. Thank you. <laughs> Set up some actual priorities at this point. Now, childcare is going to be fairly irrelevant. The way we get new colonists and new new children into this hive is by forcefully assimilating them in, right? And not to mention the, uh, because Bugsy came out of a test tube, she is sterile. There's no way to reproduce by natural means, or at least not yet. We could always, eventually, when we get up to the bioengineering aspect of things, we could always make them egg layers like actual insects are. Oh my God. That would be a uh, totally exponential. Bugsy lays an egg. That egg implants his genes in another non-egg person. That person starts laying eggs for the hive. What a mess. Oh, the things we could do with that, though. And then you remove sterile as well. They're laying eggs on one side. They're injecting people on the other. And then they're, like, 
you, you know, injecting them in the traditional sense and just having normal, regular babies on top of it. This could be a real explosive hive. Now, you're probably wondering why not just inject Luxembourg right away. I mean, I mean, it would turn her into a bug creature, and giving a prisoner webbing abilities and wings probably isn't the smartest choice. But it would also put her into a Xena germination coma. So when we inject her, she needs a couple of days to recover from that while her genes regrow and everything else. But it would also allow Bugsy's genes to start regrowing a little faster. And we don't want to recruit her, then put her in a coma, otherwise she counts towards raid score. You know? I think let's do it. Luxembourg, you get the first honor. Oh, of turning into a beautiful moth. Wow, there we go. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, that's so good. Xena germination coma for two days, and then the genes are regrown for the next day and a half. And then similarly, Bugsy is in gene loss shock and has the genes regrown for another 1.6 days as well. You can imagine if we get a big raid and we get lots of new recruits simultaneously, we're gonna need a lot of people to be able to to be able to spread the genes a little bit more. Because otherwise Bugsy will die if she tries to inject to anyone else now. Let's divide this up a little bit and try and make a prison cell pretty fast so that we can give Bugsy somewhere to sleep. Because I feel bad that she's just kinda. <laughs> just kind of lying on the floor. I'm going to throw down a field of mushrooms as well. These are mushrooms that can grow in light. And these mushrooms here, the particles apparently also can't bite at all. Oh, hello. So Vancey's in the Yorkshire Terriers. A pack of two men hunting Yorkshire Terriers are hunting him. They're a teacher. Probably good social skill. We could do it. Hello. Oh, my God. So Vancey's is in like the pirate from Soul Calibur, apparently. My god, man. Ah, oh, there you go. I'm gonna go with something very generic and basic for the time being, and I'll look for better suggestions from the comment section. We're just gonna call it The Hive. Uh, and then this particular settlement can be called The Hive. Very, very boring, very straightforward. We sat here for two hours trying to think of a pun. They can't get to us. We've got a fence gate. Aha! Oh. Incapable of violent. No! And you've got a wooden foot? My god, you are a pirate. Oh, for Christ's sake. Completely incapable of violent. Well, I guess we're sitting inside the uh, the mountain for a couple of days then. My God. Beans have finished regrowing. Let's give you a little... Oh, if you just become a dislike xenotype. Oh, you're a different ideologian too. We've got to convert him over as well. You know what? You're going to prison. <laughs> Brought manhunting Yorkshire Terriers to the front door. And you hate bug people. Why the hell did you come to a bug person colony if you hate bug people? Luxembourg must have been more receptive to it because you are from the... You're from a Xeno human pirate gang. Right, you've got no problem becoming a, uh, a Xeno human at that point. It's a scummy tactic. If we put the warg there, and then we put Bugsy in the gate, and then the warg will attack back. Yes! People think I don't know how to play this game. Just because I choose not to be a big scum lord doesn't mean that I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, except for all the times where I, where, that I don't know what I'm doing. What would be very typical now is if I left it there and it starved to death. <laughs> no. Oh, the Tox Company. Okay, hello. How many? Just one. Just one. Ida Pain Stingle. Psycho dependency. Fine. We can, we can always fix that. Don't worry. We can't because that's a germline. Oh, God. But the pollution stimulus, I do really want. Ugh. Oh, I was going to say battle stations, but you just you just smash through the hedge. Ah, uh, because it's a hedge. <laughs> yeah, try it. See what happens. Get him. Get him. Warden Bugsy's superiority. Come on. Don't you hurt Warden. Yes. There's too many people for my prison. Well, I mean, actually, no, it's not. They fit perfectly. <laughs> I mean, conceptually, this is this is too many people for the prison. Are you worth recruiting? 13 years old, a slob and a perfectionist with absolutely no skills. I'd really like your genes. But I don't know if I can be bothered to wait that long. What the hell is going on? Okay, Luxembourg's having a panic attack. That's on you. Raccoon's gone mad. That's fine. Not a problem. Ida has got an infection. Ida, I think you're probably done for. I think you're done for. I think we're just going to probably let you die at this point. Oh, God. Oh. Well, I was going to set up for some, <laughs> for some really cool webbing. But no. Turns out you're just going to hit it over the head with a giant piece of wood. Raccoons are famously allergic to being hit over the head with giant pieces of wood. Unforced drama. My only weakness. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this whole series has too much euphemism already. We've only just started. The plus side, though, if Ida dies, I could just turn her into a bedroll. So it's really not a big deal. Ah, if Ida dies. I mean, when Ida dies... Is that... Wait, is... 
Immunity? We didn't even tend you. Is that the... Oh, super immunity. Ah, gotcha. It's been two weeks since our Bugsy turned up. I think maybe now we should start cooking some meals. <laughs> oh my god, a space battle. Whoa. Several massive spaceships have engaged in combat in the planet's orbit. Oh. Where's the forest gone? <laughs> I was going to say we'll head out there and capture some prisoners, but I'll be honest with you. I think I'm okay. Oh my god, leave us alone. What is wrong with you? It's just non-stop. I mean, I know we're hated. I didn't think it would have this kind of impact. My defense, I would like to say that this, uh, this, this wag taming was maybe the most biggest brain thing I've ever done in any remote series ever. It's just so one-sided. Ooh, give me the hatchet. I mean, sure, we're probably going to take less prisoners, but, uh, are you worth getting? I mean, you've got psycho dependency. We'd have to start growing psycho. That's going to muddle the, muddle the genetics up massively, isn't it? Sorry. I'm sorry. I think we're done with you. Goodbye. What are they doing out there? <laughs> wow. Oh, there are some survivors. The problem is Bugsy's... Uh, Bugsy's social is so shit. That is a sheep person. That is a straight up sheep person. Hello? Oh, hello there. Nice to see you all. Are you any good? Are we even worth... I mean, a, a prison is so full. The prison is so full. Steadfast is great. Kind is really nice. Wimp is not so good. Uh, a Chionophile. What is that? Like the love of snow? There's nothing Setsu loves more than snow. Oh, good. The plan, we're going to get rid of Ida. Uh, release, release Ida. Are you fine? Can you walk? You're leaving. Goodbye. I'm going to swap Ida out for sheep person. And now they've got the plague. What? What is going on? Pull some punches. We're playing on naked brutality effectively. And you're beating me over the head with it. Good God. Um... Right, okay, I guess doxering is now top priority. Let's go get some heal root. And I'm also going to do what's called a uh, big brain gamer move. I'm going to build torch lamp so that as she operates on them, it's better quality. I know. This is all advanced RimWorld stuff that you could only get here on this channel. D uh, uh, don't worry, next series I won't be doing that. In fact, I'll probably forget before the end of this episode. 30%. Oh, God. Oh, 42 is a lot better. 30% might be a death sentence. No. Not like this. Is it going to be one of the prisoners that I'm getting rid of? Oh, it's not going to say who it is. Tell me. Cervantes, who have you fallen in love with? He's fallen in love with Bugsy herself. Oh, I'm so in love with you, Cervantes. Let's be together. Be together. <laughs> oh. Just a man and his... Oh. Oh, that's really good. From where he had the plague. He's gotten over the plague and he's become very kind. Oh, that's lovely. Luxembourg's also over the plague, too. I can't wait to see all of these gene lines combining. Because when we inject the sheep person with the bug genes, it's not going to get rid of the sheep stuff. It's going to add the bug stuff on as xeno genes. <laughs> this is going to be a complete mess. What have you kept? Oh, you were just a baseliner. Even now, even though they are big lovers in a deep relationship, he still won't let Bugsy inject him with her penis. That has to be Cervantes, right? Oh, there you go. Finally, he's decided to join us, and you know what that means. My guy gets a delicious insect dose. Welcome to the hive mind, my friend. With the recent patch, they've added interoperability between all of the DLC. So now, at long last, we can finally add to the Verminous Doctrine, cream bugs as our preferred xenotype. And that means that sweet, precious Cervantes is more than happy to become Mothman. There you go. Hello, fella. You okay? You're good? Wow, look at that. Unfortunately, though, that has applied the awful social gene to him and has removed all of his, all of his social ability. Um, <laughs> we're basically gonna have to train someone up from scratch, right, to be a good warden. I guess I'll leave it in in Bugsy's very capable hands right now. It'd be nice too if we train Bugsy up to be the leader of the whole hive, the one actually recruiting and converting everyone over to bug people. Oh, she's got a little worker drone helping her out building the hive. That's so much nicer. Oh, well, that is horribly tragic. My poor shapes don't line up at all. I mean, I, I could have told you that already, because this cl clearly here does not line up to here, okay? Ooh, this is difficult. I don't know how to design the base this time. I don't know whether to leave little corridors in between them like that, so that it gives it a, a kind of air gap, or maybe even have smaller pods connecting to this main chamber. Totally open to suggestions on this one. I'm not going to expand it out anyway right now, because, quite honestly, we don't need that much room. Ooh, that's nice. Diamond pattern. Oh, I like that a lot. 3,000 wood. I don't know. I don't. I hate that floor. Wow, I would never build out of that. 
<laughs> oh my god. The speed. Bugsy Queen, will you marry me? Bugsy Experiment will change her last name to Cervantes. <laughs> okay, okay, hear me out. Here's an idea for aesthetics that I wouldn't normally do. Normally, you gotta go for what, like two person wide corridors, two, three block wide corridors, maybe even four block. Have a nice little floor in the middle that differentiates itself from the edges and gives it a nice accent. Oh, we could do that. Or, because it's an insect hive and insects don't really care about aesthetics that much. Ironically, I give them their own aesthetic by giving them horrible little tiny cramped corridors. Something I would never do in a thousand years in any other room or playthrough. There you go. Honestly, I think that might look okay. I love the Luxembourg just buzzes around the prison all day. <laughs> Acidic smog has begun due to pollution in this region of the world. Oh. Is that a problem? I mean, the words acidic smog individually are both problems. I don't think it's actually a problem. All right, go about your business. I think we're, think we're fine. I think it's anything to do with the fact that they're insects. I think it's just it doesn't really do a massive man. You okay? Warden's starving to death. I mean, Warden's more than, more than welcome to go out there and hunt these raccoons itself. Lazy bloody animal. Oh, don't punch that one. That one's explosive. Oh, don't punch that one either. Oh, he's so happy. He's so aggressively happy and so pixelated. My God. Oh, you know what? I think I like it. Busy little corridors in between all the all the big pods of the hive. I think that's pretty good. Set to. Oh, for God's sake! What is this storyteller doing? It's a single person, but to be fair, they do have a gun every thirty seconds. My God! And what are you? You're a uh... ooh. Tox resistance would be nice. And bear in mind, these are germline, not xenogene, so we can turn you into a bug lizard person. Ooh, I like that idea. Uh, let's pop the gate open. And let's just stand around the corner. You can't see us over the hedge, right? Oh, you're gonna light my hedge on fire. Is there no god? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Stand back. Yes. Webbed. Uh, slowly, slowly webbed. But like actually webbed, though. Give me that gun. This is a big upgrade for the hive. Oh god, that axe does so much more damage. My god, who could have predicted that, huh? Careful, Bugsy. Careful, Bugsy. Melee level 9. I, I love it. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Oh, we got two guns. We only got one person to use them, but <laughs> that's nice. Thank you. I'm going to capture you just for the genetic diversity. Did we chop anything off? No, you're fine. Lizards, it'll grow back. <laughs> yeah, no, this is fine. This looks lovely. It's like the Garden of Eden out there. Oh, come on. Are you kidding? They were 95% grown. That was my only food, and now I'm going to starve. Luxembourg is starving. Luxembourg, the food is on fire. Wow, that couldn't be any more unfortunate. Sets who died from malnutrition. I hate this storyteller. I hate it. I mean, it's Empress Evil. I don't know what I expected. Oh, it's an insect storyteller, isn't it? Oh, for God's sake. Well, at least we've got 19 mushrooms left. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, little Kwama. A Kwama nest expanding into a nearby cave. They'll remain peaceful unless threatened. Kwama are uh, little little bug fellas that are, that are farmed for their eggs. Where are they? Jump to location. Um, little fellas? Do we even have any other... Oh my god, are they there? Hey, look, there they are. Oh, they're right on the edge. Kwama workers, Kwama foragers, Kwama scribs, and a delicious nest entrance. What What do they do? The entrance to deeper portions of the nest. Kwama workers will occasionally deposit raw fungus in Kwama egg sacks around the entrance. They'll only attack if they feel threatened, otherwise they'll remain peaceful. Oh, hello. Okay, uh, we can claim that. What do we? What do we do with it, though? We can take the Kwama eggs. That seems dangerous. Delicious, but but very dangerous. I, 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 I've spent so long this episode. I'm going to have to edit out so much of me trying to plan something out with this base. I had a massive extension going on over here. I'm sure Progress Render has captured it all. But I just can't find a design that I like with any of it. I think it all just looks terrible. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rip out this inner wall and we're going to plan... A better base inside the gap. This is driving me absolutely insane. <laughs> what a horrible idea. Bugsy, wake up. Rip this hive apart. It looks terrible. I'm losing my mind. What the hell does a hexagon even look like anymore? That doesn't look anything like a hexagon. Why do I just don't understand. I don't understand. That looks worse. <laughs> no. <laughs> no! Hold on, hold on. Maybe it looks fine when I... Oh, God, remove that other blueprint. 
We're on we're on like version 12 at this point. I'm not gonna lie to you. What if we like does it at least duplicate out? No, it's it's still the wrong shape somewhere. No, that's not right. That's not right at all. Why does that not work? What have I done? That kind of works. Actually, that looks okay. Hang on. We just get like lo the loads of loads of these fellas just being dotted around like that. What do you think? Ooh. Ah, you know what? When I see the bigger picture. God damn it, that looks way better than this shit. Ah. Oh, wait. How do I copy this? Don't tell me. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Right, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right, so no. <gasps> you can flip. I could have just taken the design I already had and flipped it. Really? And it flips perfectly? Oh my god, it maintains the dimensions. You're telling me I could have just copied this shit and flipped it over? <laughs> 40 minutes! I've been drawing fucking hexagons! <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's giving me a headache. Wait, which way around did I want it? Did I want it that way? Yeah, I, I mean, the problem is, with this shape, is it's clearly an octagon, right? It just doesn't work. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. So we let's look. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's dig all this up. Just, just like get rid of all of this. That's fine. Except for the prison. We need that. Oh, I said everything but the prison. Why didn't that deconstruct the floors? Because the deconstruct button has never deconstructed the floors. Wow. <laughs> help. Oh, please send help. Bugsy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask you to soldier on here. I'm about to hit you with a with a real nugget of wisdom here. Something that you may to understand after six thousand hours, if, hypothetically, you start with the tunnel on meme in your ideology, don't Start with people incapable of frigging tunneling. Bugsy has very slowly climbed up to 10 mining, and it's taken- How long have we been here? 56 days! Almost a year in episode 1. I'll be honest with you, it's been a little slower than I'd hoped for, because every couple of days I have to send Bugsy out there to go kill an alpaca. Minus one! We can't grow food, okay? Because Bugsy is spending all day mining, building, and clubbing alpaca, the prisoners are taking absolutely ages to recruit as well. Luxembourg, who we've had since basically we started here, 11% certainty, so almost time to bring them on board. And then we have Lynx, who has 16% certainty in uh, croissant. But, but, on the plus side, we are almost there. Not long now. Luckily for us, the raids have been absolute crap as well. Mass animal insanity. And then a manhunter pack consisting of a few squirrels. It's been, it's been pretty straightforward. We got some bedrolls out of it, which is quite nice. Oh my god, after all these years, we can finally start research. <laughs> my god, at long last. Three people. There you go. All it took was one whole year and I injecting you with, with, with bug genes. But we finally done it. How's the hive mind holding up then? Because if everybody's happy, okay, that's nice. Everyone's in a good mood, as am I. We've got uniform thoughts, which is good. All preferred xenotypes. That's really good. Oh, dear. We've built a community of the good xenotypes only. I don't like that. No, thank you. And now they're going to start to freak out because we don't have any of the specialist ranks. Oh, good. You never win at remote. You just do slightly better each time. <laughs> that might be the worst thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> oh, why not? Live a little. Inject the lizard man with the bug genes. How does this work? What's gonna happen? Genes are implanted. Are you now lizard bug man? Oh my god. <laughs> so wait, you're still cold blooded. Oviparous. As in you lay eggs. I mean I know what that means. What I'm what I'm concerned about now is You lay eggs. Are these are these these are still active? It's only the grey ones that are inactive. Are you going to are you gonna lay eggs? Lay more little insect moth eggs. Insect lizard moth eggs. How does this work? I have no idea, but that sounds incredible. Welcome. Welcome, little friend. I feel like I'm underselling this. I'm saying, like, welcome, little friend. This person crashed in a spaceship, was dragged into a cave by a horrifying bug mutant, and was forcibly transformed into a into another bug mutant with a big stinger. The, I, I'm selling this as some nice community building thing. This is alien. 
This is just the movie Alien. This is this is not a nice thing we're doing right now. This is, this is insectoid Borg. This is horrible. <laughs> it's might be the most body horror thing I've ever done. Oh my god, it's taken a long time to get here, but it's it's starting to look worth it. It's it's starting to get there. Thank you, game, for pulling the punches even more. A pack of man hunting cats, Bugsy. I got a job for you, my friend. But even if Cervantes is is incapable of violence, he can still web them up. I never considered that. Well, that's that's helpful. You can still web them up, right? I'm not going mad. There you go. And then you can web up that one. And then we, we can we can go and smash the cats. Amazing. Dinner served. Oh my god, the cats bought a hired muscle. They got a damn turkey. Get it. Get the turkey. Well. <laughs> 70 days <laughs> to build a basic base. That might be a brand new record. That's amazing. Colony wealth, though, I've kept very much under control. Look at that. We've we've barely gone above. What was the peak there? 18,000. So we've got a crafter and a researcher in the form of Luxembourg. We've got Bugsy, the queen of the colony, of course, our recruiter, our, our miner, plants expert, animals expert. And then we have Cervantes, who is just, who's just here. Who's just here for a good time. The things we can do when we get to, when we get to the industrial era, when we, when we really start getting this hive going, oh, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a long, difficult journey to get there. And now that we can... You know, start focusing on actually upgrading the base, getting a bit more colony wealth in here. It's going to be an interesting one to try and survive in, too. What a mess. What an interesting mess. And now, at long last, we can finally bug girl versus empire. Ah, that's good. It's been a long time coming. 70 days, in fact. Thank you for joining me in laying the foundations for what I think may be a very interesting playthrough. All based around these new xenotypes and passing on the genes and all sorts of weird things associated with that one. One that's actually got a bit of nice theming this time. I don't know quite how far I can stretch the theme, but we'll stretch it. We'll stretch it. Things will be stretched. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. Thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for somehow making it through this episode. And, and come back tomorrow. There'll be more reward tomorrow. And again, if you want to play along, that's all available down in the description. Uh, I, and again, apologies that this has taken so long to get out. My YouTube analytics have never looked worse because I've taken like three days to get a new episode out. Um, but I wasn't home for all day today and uh, Tuesday. And then tomorrow I get to go and have a scan on my brain, which is going to be very fun. Uh, not on the my it was on my optic nerve specifically, not on my brain. Thank you for. Well, I suppose it is kind of part of your brain, isn't it? Really, I mean, if you just scoop out the brain and everything attached to it. Does that mean your spine is your brain? I haven't really thought this through. Thank you to the executive producer patrons making this series possible in the first place, including today's executive producer patrons, which according to my list is Electus J, Hazama Shokin, Rani the Bitch, King Snitch Gaming, Antolino, Jack Barber, Zachary Whisker, Scotty, Snowdog, TW, Guts, Bill, Sarsparilla, Neo Zela, Lauren Jane, Danny the Dandelion, Dust, Jackson, Moira Valkyrie, Kira, Seabark Train, VC Brain, and Genuine Guy for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon, you have big thank you from me. And an even bigger thank you for uh, extreme patience over the last few days. I oh, just want to go back to normal. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Thank you, in addition, of course, to the other patrons on my big old patron list, including Pal Talamort. Jordan, Kate, and that is all. Metman, Ronald DK, Sabat, Jana, Jammer, 212, Sir Thomas Q, Fat X, James L, That Buck Guy, <laughs> For, Fol, Vondusk, Dave, Skizuki, Cat, Marcus Absent, Shane Connolly, Danny Torno, Ever Vigilant One, Silender, The Dwarven Gaming, Ute, Sloth King, and of course, who could forget? D's Nuts. Thank you for that. See you all tomorrow for some actual character development for Bugsy rather than just building a base. <laughs>